Hello guys, this is Arka Plosport and uh, today I want to show you a mini tool um, which can convert .ts files to mp4s uh, by utilizing ffmpeg and uh, it does its job really fast. So um, here is an example video in this folder and you can have multiple files in this folder it doesn't matter and it doesn't have to be in this folder uh, either it can be in any folder so um, to utilize our utility to be run uh, um, in any folder system-wide uh, i have made supplementary files uh, so you can Use it from your context, right click context menu. And um, here is two versions. Uh, I will close this one. As you can see, this is a TS file. And I have made two versions uh, of this file. One is safe, it doesn't delete the TS file in the source folder, uh, and the other one is unsafe. It just deletes the files. Uh, so this is the only difference, this one line. So it scans the files uh, for this extension. It converts to MP4. Uh, let's see it in action. But before that, I would like, like to uh, show you how you can uh, add this to your right-click context menu. And uh, here is the supplementary files. I will show uh, one of it because it's almost the same. That's uh, okay. I, I have changed my mind and. Let's look, look at both of them. This one is calling the safe but, but file and it copies uh, this bat file to the folder that you, are, you want to launch your file and it uh, calls the file and just because the file is called, it runs what it, it is supposed to do. And after that, the bot file gets deleted after the job is done. It's the same here. Now also, if you are using a different folder from this one, as you can see, my files are located in this folder. And uh, if your folder is different, you may need to change uh, the location as well. Anyway, so we want these two files uh, in our send to menu. Uh, to run this, uh, I am pressing Windows key and R. R key uh, to get the run command and uh, you just uh, write shell column center okay then it opens the center uh, let's copy And you can delete the supplementary text if you like after you copy because it doesn't matter. You, you can rename it to uh, anything that makes sense. Okay. So I am closing this and I have copied this one. Uh, to here 
as you can see it's the same file let's try uh, our script i want to taste uh, uh, i want to test sorry <laughs> i want to test it uh, with the safe method first so as you can see our uh, source file still remains in the folder and uh, our mp4 file uh, is located next to it uh, its uh, naming is the same just the extension is different and let's check mp4 container so let's delete this mp4 uh, and see the unsafe method i'm right clicking uh, also if you have multiple files in this folder which i don't have but let's copy another one and rename it something um you can have many of these files in a folder it doesn't matter and you can have uh, mp4s mp3s uh, the pictures it doesn't matter it just filters that ts files so uh, it's pretty safe to uh, run this command so uh, you need to click at least one of the files just to open the right click menu and uh, i will use the unsafe method this time this one let's see so the ts files got deleted and uh, all we have is empty force so that's it uh, i will share the uh, link in the video description uh, so if you want to like the video feel free to do it and uh, by the way uh, as you can uh, tell english is not my uh, main language and i don't speak to people in daily life in english that's why uh, i'm not speaking um, uh, english really good uh, but i guess it's kind of okay and understandable uh, so some people may have uh, trouble understanding me just follow the video because it's a visual guide uh, at least uh, so you can understand wh what to do okay have a good day